Okay guys, so I just bought this coffee, but I paid with the sticker right here. So actually, I got this for free. So thank you guys. Come 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 come. Okay guys, so I'm doing a cost of living video today. I'm going to show you guys how you can live in Thailand for under $800. I was just shooting the segment to show you where I get my coffee. This is 17 baht, but I actually just paid with those stickers. So it was actually free. So we're off to a good start for this video. But um, let me break down the rent, the normal cost of living day to day for your food and uh, gym, what you're gonna be doing around town. These uh, tuk tuks right here are 30 baht, things like that. So let's go back to the office and we'll uh, break down a monthly budget and I'll give you a tour of my new place. What's up, what's up guys? Welcome to GP Cribs Edition. I'm gonna give you guys a tour of my facility here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Starting here on the first floor. This is an open space here. We're gonna be doing yoga here. We might do some hip hop events here. Who knows? But um, everything is open at this point. But as you can see, very, very beautiful space we have here. One bathroom here. And then we've got kitchen over here. Check it out, check it out. So kitchen here, stove we can cook over here. And look at this water heater. You can take like three hour showers with this thing right here. <laughs> and then a uh, fridge for food and drinks and stuff. Okay, let's pop upstairs. <laughs> Watch your step. <laughs> now this is the music studio. This is where I do all my creations, music, and all the YouTube production stuff. Got the production desk, all the music equipment here. Now we got the nice tapestry, and we'll sit here for the interviews and vlog stuff like that. So this is where all the uh, creative juices get flowing. One more floor upstairs. And guys, would you believe that this three level compound is only 12,000 baht? That's less than 400 bucks US. Try finding something like that where you're from. So we've got one spare bedroom right here. This is where I keep like storage laundry there keep the laundry out of my room so it doesn't stink it up <laughs> and then here is where the magic happens my bedroom got a little balcony out here and then bath over there So guys, this is what's available for around 400 bucks a month. Can you believe that? I couldn't believe it when I found it myself. So um, we're, we're trying to come in under 800 bucks a month for this video, 400 on this, that's 50%. The other 400 is gonna be on food and uh, what we do around town. Number one question I always get asked, GP, how much do I need to live to retire in Thailand long term. Guys, the question is this. Do you want to live like the pimp in paradise or do you want to live like a Thai rice farmer? Let's get into it. Let's break it down. But first, 17 baht coffee. That was a real treat today. We got to use these stickers. So they do these promo, 7 uh, Eleven does these promo coupons from time to time. And they give you these little stamps and they can be used to buy things like coffee. So I had enough of them in my pocket that uh, we got the coffee for free today. But we're gonna add that 17 baht in to our budget. We have to add that. All right, guys. So for the purposes of this video, we're gonna use a budget of 800 US a month. 800 US a month is 28,000 142 Thailand baht. 
Now, I just showed you the crib. Uh, 12,000 baht for that, 340 bucks. I didn't even realize it was that cheap. That's amazing, that is amazing. Now you're gonna need um, your phone bill and your internet. Now me personally, what I do is I run the computer off of the phone internet. So all of my expense, all of my expenses for phone and internet, 300 baht. True Move is the provider that I use at this point. I've heard um, good things about AIS, but I haven't had much problems with True Move, so I stick with True Move. 300 baht a month. My utilities, I put down 2,000. They've been coming in under that, but for the purposes of video, let's go with 2,000 baht for that. So our monthly expenses for rent, internet, phone, and utilities coming in at 14,300 baht with our um, target budget at 28,142 baht. So that leaves us for pocket change, food, activities, a whopping 13,700 baht or 456 baht a day. 456 baht a day is a little, is, is something uh, pretty good to play with. So we wake up in the morning, got to get coffee. We're down 17 baht. Mm-hmm. Mm. I love coffee, guys. I'm a coffee addict. Now, okay, you're going to grab some, you're going to come home, do your little morning routine, maybe do a little bit of yoga, do a little bit of surfing on the internet. One o'clock rolls around, two o'clock rolls around. Hey, I think it's, uh, I'm a little hungry. I wanna go grab me some lunch. We're gonna go with common guy, or in English, chicken rice. A very simple dish, 45 baht. Uh, excuse me, get the big plate, 55 baht for the big plate of chicken rice. Get the nice big plate of chicken rice that you're seeing on the screen right now with a nice little soup and a couple sauces. That does you good for lunch. All right, now uh, come back. Maybe we do a little bit of work on the computer. Maybe hit the gym. If we're gonna hit the gym, the gym is 60 baht a day. Now, if you really, really wanna be budget, usually there's a uh, outdoor gym or an outdoor area. Like if we're in Patia, we go up to Big Buddha Mountain. We do a couple laps up there to get some exercise in or there's the outdoor uh, Flintstones gym in Patia that you can also hit to get a nice pump in. Here in Chiang Mai, I've got National Stadium. They have a uh, full rubber, you know, running track. They've got all the calisthenic stuff. So if you didn't want to do the gym, there's free options as well. But let's say you do go to the gym, 60 baht for the day for the gym, okay? We come home, we shower up, we rest. Maybe check an email or two, check your Thai friendly, set up your date for the evening, and it is time for dinner. For dinner, we're gonna hit the night market. We're gonna head over there for some nice, let's see here. I don't know how to say it in Thai, but you guys are gonna wanna try this one. There's crispy pork with kale. Mm -hmm. The crispy pork with kale, we get that with a nice little omelet on top of rice. That's gonna run you about 60 baht for that, around 60 baht. Now to wash that down, you're gonna want, gonna want to go with a nice coconut shake. Coconut shake could be anywhere from 25 baht to 50 baht. Let's call dinner 100 baht, okay? Now let's really quickly recap where we're at for your daily cost. 17 baht for your morning coffee, 55 baht for your lunch chicken rice. Let's say you hit the gym today, you were a good boy, you were getting your muscle on, 60 baht there, we're up to 132, and then another 100 for dinner, okay? We are coming in under budget, gentlemen. 232 baht for the day, that's about a uh, let's see here, six, seven, about an $8 day, somewhere around there. I'll throw the number up on the screen. Now, let's see, let's say you um, have met your Thai lady and you're gonna go out for drinks. We add that in 
you know, hopefully you can keep that around the 456. Uh, let's say tomorrow you're going to go see the elephants or do an activity or a tour. You can factor that extra saved 200 baht and, you know, add that up compounding to the next day. But as you can see, this can be very budget friendly depending on how, um, how much you can stick to your routine, routine and how many activities you do. Okay, so this is your basic day-to-day, -day, excluding activities, excluding nightlife, including the ladies and all that stuff. That, uh, for the purposes of today's video and what we're trying to accomplish, we're gonna keep this very simple as far as rent, daily expenses, food, etc. The uh, activities and the nightlife debauchery, that's for another video. But as you can see, gentlemen, can you live in Thailand under $800? Yes, you can. So let's recap this. 232 by, let's, let's round this up. Let's round this up to 250. 250 by times 30 is the month. 7,500 baht. We had spending money set aside of 13,700. Okay, so that leaves you, what did I say, 65? That leaves you an extra 7,200 baht for playtime. For playing around, for going to see the elefantes, for going to get massages, for going to uh, fill up your motorbike with gas, for uh, going to the Western Burger Joint for 400 baht burgers. You've got that 7,000 baht for stuff like that. All right, so very good guys. As you can see, I've got a pretty comfortable place. Um, pretty comfortable setup as far as you saw the uh, folks at 7-Eleven. Everybody's very nice. We've got the nice restaurants. So the comfort, the quality of life over here is very, very good. I think this gives you an idea, a rough outline, a skeleton of what you can put together as far as what you want to do over here. Let me know, guys, if this was informative for you. Let me know if there was anything I left out. Uh, let me know if there was anything that you learned because we always uh, like to educate you guys and inspire you to get yourself over here. Not only over here, guys, but whatever country you're interested in. I hope this gets your wheels turning and lights that flame under your booty to get yourself on a plane somewhere. All right, gentlemen, thank you all for hanging out. Um, please let me know your thoughts down below. These hoodies are available on my website. I've got t-shirts also. If you're coming over here to Thailand, I'm sure you don't want to rock a hoodie or you might want to be like one of the motorbike guys who wears these to uh, stay out of the sun. Good for that. But I do have t-shirts available too, so you're not in the heat with the hoodie. That's it. Uh, the links are all down below. I've got the links for the Patreon down there. I need y'all to support over there. YouTube fluctuates so freaking much, guys. Please take a look and uh, check the description box for, every, for everything that I've got going on for this video. Probably have a link for you. One thing I just remembered I left out was health insurance. We go with Safety Wing Insurance. I've got a link down below for you for that. But um, that doesn't change our budget too much. Add an extra thirty or forty dollars just for that. We're still we're still well on target. All right, gentlemen. Uh, yeah, that's about it. We got it. We came in under eight hundred. Can you believe it? I'm actually a little bit surprised. I didn't. I thought that I was gonna make a video to kind of uh, shock you guys a little bit, but we did it. We did it with ease. So thank you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this one. Peace. Love. I'm the pimp.
just wondering how. how we hey guys, thank you all for checking out the channel, watching my videos, bumping my music. It really means the world to me. So thank you all for being here. Just wanted to let you know there's more links, more content, more stuff up on my website at jeffreypeterson.com. Not only that, but I've got the Patreon live as well. Guys, YouTube fluctuates in what goes on over here. There's ups and downs, ebbs and flows. It's part of the game. I could really, really use your support over on the Patreon. Check it out. There's a few different tiers. See what works for you. Um, at any rate, keep watching, keep coming back, but really check it out. See what works for you. See if you can support over there. I would really, really appreciate that. On the Patreon, we're building a little community. There's um, direct access to me, so you can email me, we can communicate over there, and maybe we'll have a little group think and create some custom content about what you guys want to uh, know about and learn about and uh, explore together. Cool, thank you guys, uh, appreciate y'all. Peace, love.